boy. Oh my gosh. Stress boy. Okay. Falcon. Reversing. Car. I get home. I haven't been posting for a while now. I, don't know. I haven't been posting videos for like a month or so because I have like an internship kind of a deal. I just hate it, you know. I hate working. Unless you love your job, you know, like if you love your job, then it's fine, you know, like it's not even a job anymore, it's just a career, yes. Because right now, like, I am still in college and all that, taking culinary arts, which is something I love, I guess. Uh, I, I just, I don't know, I just, uh, I just like food, you know, like that's the first thing in mind when, when someone asks me, you know, what do you want to learn? Well, the first thing that I love, of course, what would that be? Food! I love food, you know. I like to eat food. I want to learn how to cook, you know, I want to know what's in my freaking plate. Because sometimes you know you don't. Sometimes you don't know what's in your plate until you eventually know what it is. You know, maybe it's that one guy's, one guy's uh, nail, hand nail or something. You know, you don't know unless you've seen it. Who the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. Who in the world has been cooking? and making food for you, you know, if, if it's like a restaurant or something, but hey, it's, it's, it's gross sometimes when you first see it, but eventually you will, you know, understand how it feels like to actually cook for someone. Oh my gosh, uh, currently I am driving. Because that is the street where you have to give way, you know. Like you have to give way. It doesn't have any traffic light, so of course you need to give way for the people on the main road to get off your way so you don't get hit by them or hit them so just let them go first and then when it's all clear then you can just you know go into the main go into the main road so i don't know i don't know how people in malaysia understand road signs or rules Unless if it's recording a video and driving at the same time. I know it's, it's a violation to the law. The road, rules, law, whatever regulation that they put in the books and onto the streets. But it's just there so people could just, you know, fill their time and just be too fixated with what they're, you know, uh, experiencing, you know. People had a long time experiencing driving, it, it, it's, it's much nicer, you know. I wish I had, I wish they had some kind of like a, a degree or diploma in driving, you know, like getting to know your car or something like that, you know. Like, how cars work well they 
don't have that, you know. They do have engineering, which make cars. I don't know what's the, uh, you know, uh, minimum degree or level to actually become some kind of professional driver or in my case an F1 or racing driver you know, a, because you're just racing you have to understand what the hell is going on with your car how you're gonna drive it understanding the grip on how you want to point the direction of your car to you know it's it's not just you know steer push the gas and then there you know it's like you you won your first race because you did everything that's obvious you know to actually drive a racing car or a uh, car <laughs> Just uh, just having some kind of like a uh, driving license doesn't mean you cannot actually have full control of your car. You know, sometimes some people are like uh, nervous when they're driving, and then there's like another person behind him or another person in the car with him. You know, it's it is uh, nervous. Uh, if you're like new to driving but in the end you'll just get used to it and then you'll say yeah fuck it you know like at least they're wearing a seat belt and this car has airbags because back then they don't <laughs> they don't have airbags maybe they do have seat belts But seriously, you know, like the way the evolution of cars just changes completely and actually make, you know, road cars even more safer, you know, f so people could drive and just be in it and knowing that they will be safe or at least, you know, live and not immediately die by you know, driving uh, straight into a wall or something. You know. uh, sh shucks. Another reason why I hate Malaysia because the roads here are not so smooth. You know, it, it ain't smooth. You know, if you're talking about some places that are in Malaysia that are smooth, please tell me because I like to drive on those roads rather than being in the sh town driving on roads that are just barely smooth and can create a bump or so and every single 500 meters half a kilometer you will get a speed bump there you go it's just like why you know why do you need to do that? Why do you need to? You know, because we Malaysians are terrible drivers. You know, you know, forget the Chinese, forget the Indians, Malaysians. Like seriously, I even heard from friends, you know, uh, who went to, you know, uh, overseas, like going to other countries, like. Uh, the West, probably. And they say that, you know, Malaysia and how Malaysia, Malaysian people drive is completely different, you know? Like, if you're a Malaysian and you want to drive in some other country, you will look like a complete idiot. Because the way you're driving is just stupid, you know, it's it's not right, you know, like you have to obey every single rule, but no, this is Malaysia, we don't care 
who the hell is gonna give us a freaking, you know, shit about how the heck we drive unless if it's like me, you know, someone like me who love cars and love driving. But if, you know, like if I was like a taxi driver and I'm stuck in the middle of the road and I'm angry and just like, eh, well, I'm doing my job, I'm driving a car, so I don't need to, uh, to be angry. You know, the only one who's angry is the passenger, you know, who wants to get to their destination. But if he or she wants to go, you know, there fast, I don't mind, you know. Like, it's, it's just good for me, you know, because I like to drive fast. So, why not? But, hell, this is Malaysia, you know. Everybody drives like a maniac once in a while. So, let's just get to it then. <laughs> See you in another video, if you're watching this. Sorry, the audio is so bad. And the way I speak is so terrible. Sorry. Bye-bye.